Welcome back, survivors. Disturb Z here, and we are back in Timberborn. All right, guys, let's see what do we got going. Where are we? Which side? Ah, I I know where we're at. Okay. Sorry, I had to rotate the city. I had to orientate a little bit. I forgot where I was. The city it's growing so big. We'll eventually get it big. It is going to get there one day. All right, so we've got this wheel. This wheel is 100% out of the water. Nice. Did they really... They really did that, didn't they? They really skipped those two blocks. Oh, you beavers. Oh, you beavers. That's, that's my new... That's going to have to be my new saying for a minute is, Oh, you beavers. Uh, I, don't, <laughs> I don't even know what to say on that one. I'm just like, really? This is... This is what we did. We we just leave that one block out so that the current can just uh <sighs> frustration. Oh, so frustrated. Is what I say. All right. Well, I don't know if there's any way I can fix that. Um and I'm not taking out the wheel. Maybe we could bring down a staircase maybe I don't I don't know this might be for nothing over here this could be a mute point well you know would it be better you know they're not gonna be able to reach it hmm yeah, that's kind of what I thought. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna waste a lot of planks here. I don't know if it's the equivalent of replacing this wheel or not, but you know we're we're gonna have to we're gonna play with it. We're gonna see what happens. It, it's either gonna work or it's not gonna work. I really thought that they were going to put the uh, things on before the wheel, and yeah. They proved me wrong once again. These beavers and their AI. I, I say that I complain, but one day they're going to change the AI and they're going to tweak a few things and change it. And then I'm going to have to relearn a whole new thing and I'm going to be so bad. Oh, it's going to be one of those deals. All right, let's speed things up. Let's get things going. Let's see if we can't get our beavers to get over here and get this fixed. Maybe we can get that salvaged to where it's not, not a nuisance, not a pain. You know what? I probably could have came just from right here, but... Eh, whatever. Should we? I don't know. Should hold on. Now that I'm thinking about it, have they? They haven't done anything with that yet, have they? No. Tank. Well, I don't know. Would it be less? Hold on here. Ah, well, it's red right there anyway. Of course, then again, it's red over here too. So. I don't think it's really going to matter either way. We're just going to try to get over there to it. So, got to have some sort of scaffolding out there anyway. All right. Well, mistakes were made. I can admit I made a mistake. They do happen every once in a while. Sometimes more often than not. All right, so we've got all this. How are we doing on gears? We're up to 136 gears. Is How many is over here? 46 gears is over there. So I'm wondering if that's enough gears to start up the metal production again. Or do we want to just leave it shut down until we can go to a different mine? Hmm, 30, 30, it'd be 30 and 30. If we go to this one, it's 30, 30 and another 30. Yeah, I don't know. I'm going to go ahead and turn it back on. I'm just going to let it run for a little bit, do its thing. All right, where are we at? Ah, they're building the, they're building the scaffolding from up top. So 
So we already have a portion of it built. <laughs> y'all can build that part, but wait, did y'all build... Why? Why did you... Oh, okay, so I guess they could build past the wheel. Now I don't even need this stuff. Oh, well, I'm going to let them build it. I'm going to let them build it. We don't know. I might need scaffolding down here later on anyway, so we're just going to let it sit. If it's not one thing, it's another. Okay, so let's see. Baking and doing things. How are we doing stuff over here? Not bad, not bad. Let's see, where are our pastries at? Uh, let's see, that is maple syrup. Five. So I really need another bakery in order to get more. I think I need another bakery. Okay, well, let's rock with two bakeries then. And we will get more maple pastries. Maple pastries for all. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, we are above the water. Okay. Yep, yep, yep. Everything's looking good. All right, so now that we've got that kind of situated, I want to get I want to get something over here established. I want to get a uh thingy, a hold on, let me see here. That is red, but it is orange over here. I want to get a section of, um, what's it called? Uh, I want to put like some more bakeries and stuff in. And I'm thinking outside this wall right here might be a good, uh, good place to start that. Because we've got a relatively flat spot over here. All right, well, let's give it a shot. Okay, so if we do this, then we can come in here with, oops, with bakery there, bakery here. Then I can build this up and I can build a storehouse or a warehouse. Uh-huh. All right, so we're going to do that. We're going to get that situated and set up, and we're probably going to start delivering um, flour over here so that they can produce their own bread. Can I, hold on, can I dictate what's, yes, we can go ahead and dictate what goes in here. Let's see, all I want in here is... I don't care if chestnuts go in there. That's fine. They'll eat them fast anyway. I might even leave some room for that. Yeah, we'll leave room for food in there. But everything else other than berries, we're not keeping berries in there. There we go. So all of that can be in here. And what I'll probably do is I'll probably put a gap, put another one, and then we'll build up and put a second one on top. 
That way we can have like a little 3,000 storage going on over here. But with it right down the uh, the road from all of this, from the wheat fields, I think that will be a good place to have it. And all that looks good. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to let the water flow first without a upper... Uh, upper water wheel and then we'll put it in the upper water wheel later and then I'll use this area as some sort of power deal for something I don't know exactly what yet but we'll use it we will utilize it how are we doing on the pastries now oh yeah we're making pastries Yeah, I'm kind of thinking sunflower seeds down here. That's what I'm kind of thinking, sunflower seeds. Um, farmhouse. We'll do a double farmhouse. Give me my roads. We'll do that. And then we'll do that, and that. Oops. There we go. So we'll do that. That'll give them extra, extra sunflowers to mess with. And we'll just utilize that little bit of land right there for right now. Since we're so low on sunflower seeds, maybe that'll help give them a little bit of a boost. Help bring up that well-being just a little bit. Maybe. Possibly. We'll see. We've got 2.3 days left in the drought. And then our testing shall begin. No recipe related. Or selected, I should say. Uh, for right now, yeah, y'all are going to do bread. And I am going to stop sending bread. And I'm going to send wheat. Wheat flour. Yeah, we've got plenty of wheat flour. And then once we get the grist mills, we'll be able to start sending actual wheat over. But, yeah. I think I think if we need to, we can add in another grist mill over here. Off of our little power setup that we currently got going. Speaking of our power setup. I think it is probably close to that time. That we start building this thing outward. Where is, where's that source block? Okay, so the source block is over here. Hmm. Yeah, and that would bring it here. Okay, well, we'll let them play with that for just a little bit. Let's check in on this. How are we doing? We are getting closer to that. Do we have... We don't have wheat flour yet. Oh, but they are making bread. So, yes, we do have wheat flour being brought over. Okay, good. Uh, what about y'all? Do y'all have any extra wheat flour? You do have extra wheat flour. So, where is, yeah, your little dudes down here. 
Let's stop sending you bread. And let's send you... Wheat flour as well. Okay. So we've got two districts supplying wheat flour over here to those two bakeries. That should keep them relatively uh, stocked for a bit. Point nine days. The water is coming. I can feel it. It's almost here. So. It will be very, very nice to get this uh, tower figured out. To see if there's any resistance on the water. If there is, we know what to do. If there's not, then we don't have to worry about it. That's a cool little tower anyway. Makes use of that little little node water source, whatever you want to call it. I think I might want to put in some manual wheels over here too though. I don't know, we've got, how much demand do we have on this system? Only 220, that's it? Yeah, that's not too bad. I probably could set in a set of wheels right here and have them manually power. Of course, you know, I don't know. I don't know. I still have issues with the seasonal water wheel power thingy. Still say we need a battery. If the devs are listening, we need a battery. We need a way to store the energy from the wheels during the wet season. Alright, it is almost that time. And the water returns. Now the question is, is how long is it going to take to fill that up? Eh, not too long. It's almost raised a quarter block. Now it's raised a quarter. All right, unresisted water wheel action. Let's see what it ends up averaging out to. And we're at 92, 90, 88. I think the flow's equaling out about 89. And yeah, I don't think water resistance is a thing. I do not believe water resistance is a thing, guys. I think that, uh, I think we're good. So, yeah, well, it, it was a thing. It was a test. And as you can see, we still have water that's dropping down. So, we should be good there. All right. Well. Let's go ahead and get in that bigger, or not the bigger, but another large wheel up here. Oh, am I going to have to raise it up one?
Yep, gonna have to raise it up one. Actually, if I'm gonna raise it up one, maybe we should flip it around. Alright, that looks good. We'll do that and then I'll connect power power shafts to it and we'll probably end up having to do some weird weird thing with the scaffolding over here and yeah, I don't know. We might tear it down, we might change it into just, you know, a path for the uh power shafts to go down. We'll figure that out later. So but right now that little test is complete. All right, guys. Well, fun, fun, fun. Still only averaging out at twelve, huh? What are we? What are we missing over here that we could amplify? Uh, carousels, mud baths, Lido's, books. Books would probably be a big one. Shrines and temples, huh? Okay, so it seems like we don't have a lot of shrines sitting around. Hmm. I wonder if we could change that up a little bit here. Um, let me see. What is it? Leisure? I'll slap a shrine right in there. Little shriny shrine. Put another one right there. I'll increase their shrine shrinage a little bit. I don't know, is shrinage a word? If it's not, I'm coining that. Shrinage is now a word. Ooh, I just had an idea. I had an idea. Wait, is it? Ah, uh -huh. it is going to work. Boom, boom, boom. And we have Shrinage. And we have Shrinage. Gotta love it. Got to love it. All right, come back over here. Put a couple shrines in. Put a shrine in there. Put a shrine in right there. What is this guy? Lumberjack. Get rid of that lumberjack. And we'll put in another shrine. All right, so that should help us get a little bit more of a boost out of our well-being. Several shrines in each area. Once those all get built and the beavers have a chance to start using them. That'll be excellent. How are we doing on our warehouse down here? Wow, it's almost full already. Seriously? With bread on top of that, they have been cranking out the bread. All right. Do not underestimate the beavers and their want for fresh bread. Because they will tell you something about it. All right, so we'll just go ahead and throw in one more storage over there. We'll get it ready to stack. That way, if we need to bring up another one, we can.
Okay, so hold on. Let me see here. That is a path right there. Yes, yes, it is. Okay, that ought to give them access to that. And then let's take out the staircase. Yes. We'll do that. And I am thinking that we'll do... A little something like that. That'll give them access to this outside wall. Which will be nice. I'll let them work. I'll let them get a little bit more, a little bit more stuff done over there. All right. I like it. I like it. I like it. So we've got metal production going again. We've got all of our food production running crazy as always. We're up to twelve thousand food. I mean, we're just. We're just churning out the food that, yeah, we could like shut down all of our food production for, you know, like an entire cycle and we'd probably be okay. They probably wouldn't eat half of it. So I think we're doing excellent on food. And yeah, so anyway, there you have it, guys. We got... Got our water wheel situate. Oh, I got that way too high, didn't I? Ah, I did get that way too high. Why did it, I'm confused? Why was it not letting me place it earlier? Okay, well, apparently I'm gonna have to do some sort of work there. I messed up something um, by raising that too high. I don't know why wouldn't it fit earlier. That's weird. Anyway, but that's gonna be it for today's video. I do hope everyone has enjoyed it. If you have, be sure to hit that like button. And if you have, haven't already, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. It is an awesome way for you to show your support to me, to the channel, to the video, and to the game itself. And as always, feel free to share the video on any social media you're using. And guys, just like to stop, take a moment, and thank each and every one of y'all for all of your wonderful, awesome support. All the comments, all the likes, all the subscribers, and all the videos shared. It is awesome, and I do appreciate it. And with that being said, until next time, survivors, keep on surviving.